My name is Casey Hammer, and I'm about to reveal the dark, twisted secrets of the Hammer family. Army Hammer is the son of famous businessman Michael Armin Hammer and great grandson to oil tycoon Armin Hammer. Army started off his acting days through several guest appearances for TV series. From there, he worked for his first leading role as Billy Graham in the 2008 film titled Billy the Early Years. The attention Army gained from wide recognition through his portrayal of twins Cameron and Tyler in David Fincher's The Social Network biographical drama film film won him a Toronto Film Critics Association Award for the category of Best Supporting Actor. At the moment, ARMY has been making headlines about quite an unsettling scandal over Discovery Plus's most recent docuseries centered around the actor and all his allegedly illegal relationship and behavioral allegations. But before we get into all of that, let's rewind a bit. Born in Santa Monica, California on August 28th, 1986, we have renowned American film actor Armand Douglas Hammer. His current net worth is reported to be around 10 million, and the Call Me By Your Name actor is 35 years old at the time of this video. His fate falls under the Christian category, and Army's zodiac sign is Virgo. Presently, there's not much information about Army's history growing up, but I'm sure that will change following Discovery Plus's House of Hammer docuseries in the fall. Since his is publicly set to expose him on the streaming show. Still, we know Army is now divorced from his once wife Elizabeth Chambers, who is also the mother of Army's two children, Ford Armand Douglas Hammer and Harper Grace Hammer. Army's parents are Michael Hammer and Drew Ann Mobley, and he has a sibling named Victor Hammer. Army went to schools Grace Christian Academy, Faulkner Academy, and Los Angeles Baptist High School. Following this, Army enrolled in Pasadena City College and the University of California, respectively being a graduate of both of the latter educational systems. His career found its start in 2008, and through his best performances, Army was awarded accolades from the likes of the young Hollywood actor for Male Star of Tomorrow. Now remember when I told you about those House of Hammer headlines recently making waves at the start? Here's how it pertains to what we've learned so far. The House of Hammer trailer created a buzz across social platforms alike when Army's alleged victims spoke out for the series. In it, Army's alleged crimes are brought to life, referred to as, quote, only the tip of the iceberg in relation to the gossip surrounding the Hammer family. The preview released an exploration of the allegation of ARMY's rumored SA. The three-parter is promising to uncover the secrets and scandals from the Hammer bunch through five generations. Two of ARMY's ex-girlfriends, Courtney and Julia, can be seen recalling previous alleged texts and voice notes sent by ARMY over social media, which seemingly exposed his quote, cannibalistic fantasies and in short, Army's message said, I have a fantasy about having someone prove their love and devotion and tying them up in a public place at night, making their body free use. As aforementioned, Army's aunt Casey Hammer is not only included in the series, but she also co produced it as a consultant. Casey mentioned sitting down in front of the camera to reveal the secrets of the Hammer family. The synopsis for the show reads Through a trove of archives and interviews from survivors and family members, the dark and twisted secrets of the Hammer family come to life. Behind the money and power lies a dysfunctional dynasty, with its male characters exhibiting all the devastating consequences of privilege gone wild. Allegations against ARMY first emerged in early 2021, forcing the actor out of a shotgun wedding shooting opposite Jennifer Lopez. Not even a month later, ARMY was discarded by his agent and publicist. Amid the physical violence and assault claims, ARMY was dropped from even more projects. Reportedly, this led to him checking into a rehabilitation center, rumoredly funded by Marvel actor Robert Downey Jr. to seek assistance with his hard substance, liquor, and copulation issues. ARMY has of course denied all the accusations set against him, and it was suspected as early as last month that he worked as a timeshare salesman at a Cayman's Island hotel resort to support his family. In the upcoming House of Hammer three-parter, Army's alleged victims break down their walls to open up about their side of the story and their former relationships with the actor. Discovery Plus's intense docuseries is scheduled to premiere on September 2nd of this year. It's streamable on a range of sites and apps such as Apple TV, Android TV, 
Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Samsung Smart TV, Chromecast, Xbox, iPhone, iPads, Androids, and Slash or web browsers. Again, the network will take to the show to finally uncover the rumored dark past of ARMY and dive into his rise and fall. Particularly, it extends the allegations that came about last year. As for Vanity Fair, we also received several screenshots of the social media postings of his alleged victims describing his supposedly manipulative and twisted fantasies. So how about we break down this series of events with a little more detail? ARMY has insisted that these rumors surrounding him are untrue, and his lawyer even released a statement which says, with the truth on his side, Mr. Hammer welcomes the opportunity to set the record straight. From day one, Mr. Hammer has maintained that all of his interactions with every sexual partner of his have been completely consensual. Venturing into one of the alleged texts written by ARMY obtained by Vanity Fair, it states, I am 100% a cannibal. That's scary to admit. I've never admitted that before. I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm. Another apparent one he wrote was, Redacted you on your floor with a knife against you. Everything else seemed boring. You crying and screaming, me standing over you, I felt like a god. I've never felt such power or intensity. Army situation surely escalated when a woman who went by Effie stepped into the limelight with the original first allegation against him that included an alleged 2017 violent attack. She told Vanity Fair that she believed Army was going to kill her back then. But ARMY's lawyer Andrew Brettler has also denied these accusations against ARMY on behalf of the actor, even in light of Courtney and Julia sharing their experiences through House of Hammer. Jason Sterlanis, the president of crime and investigative content, linear and streaming, issued a statement that details the accusations of redacted and abuse brought against ARMY Hammer in the last few years are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the Hammer family. With House of Hammer, we witnessed truly disturbing details and sinister scenes secrets that money and power couldn't hide forever. House of Hammer takes a startling peek into the group of Hammers responsible for a number of alleged crimes in their days. This includes the actor's divorce from Elizabeth more than a decade ago, the lockup of Army's great-great-grandfather for his first-degree manslaughter charge, and all of Army's personal alleged allegations, lawsuits, criminal charges, and then some. Conclusively, the Hammers family ties to the British monarchy, the Russian communists, and American politicians and oil tycoons will also be further explored. Now that is it for today's WATN. If there are any other Hollywood hotties you'd like to see in our next rundown, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to let us know what your thoughts are on today's Where Are They Now video. This was your host Michaela who had the pleasure of delivering today's update on your favorite celebrities and I'll see you all in the next one.